Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever we, we are. Welcome everyone to Opassion Singapore Malaysia Global. And we are so glad that all of us are here tonight, Thursday on the 15th of February. And uh, just a little history about Opassion. Opassion was formed on in November 2020th, 2020, and the first public webinar was on 30th September 2021 under the mentorship of Dr. Bill Williams. Our mission or passion, our mission is to unite passion for humanity, to nurture mindset and leadership for passion and oblast, and to form eventually as we come together and know each other's interests to form passion groups for good causes. We believe, we believe on passive is a divine movement of God. And we thank Mr. Ash Mufara for answering God's call to run this humanitarian movement to make the world a better place. So welcome everyone. Before I introduce the uh, speaker, let me play a short video as an intro. Yeah. Welcome again, and uh, I believe Jeannie is back. Yes, and I'm back. Okay, <laughs> loud and clear. We have done the intro, so let me introduce uh, the speaker, Jeffrey Moloch, our brother, and a little bit about himself as an on passive founder. He says, I will endeavor to live its vision and its value as this leading age movement changes the entire online affiliate marketing landscape as a smart business solution. His passion for on passive, he says, my belief in the rightness and solidity of this new tech leader is motivating, strong and unyielding. Brother Jeffrey Moloch is part of our host team of All Passion and we are so glad he is here to enrich us, empowering us and strengthen us. Today, he's going to share and speak to us on this topic on passive, judgment, forgiveness and lifting humanity. We are all ears and all heart to you, Jeffrey. Thank you for being here tonight. And of course, we welcome for the first time Corinne from Switzerland for gracing this uh, meeting here tonight with, and with all the VIPs here. Dr. Bill Williams, thank you for mentoring us all these years. Jeffrey, platform is yours. Unmute, please. You are wow. muted. Wow, okay. Thank you so very, very much. I, I really enjoyed that intro. And I am enjoying the fact that we can celebrate here this morning with some of us that uh, will understand fully where I'm going with this. And I, I really hope that this turns out to be something good, something uh, extraordinary. Um, we, you know, I'd like to provide information that's going to assist us in perspectives that, that don't have, not, not just uh, relating to unpassive, but but life uh, in a contemporary phrase, I guess, you know, maybe provide some life hacks. So thank you so very much, Mabel. I appreciate that, that you uh, not only invited me here, <laughs> but you gave me a week or two to be able to know, hey, I need to put this on the schedule and make sure it happens. <laughs> so I appreciate that a lot. It's obviously good to see Corinne here. Uh, um, man, a lot, lots of love to you, girl. Miss, miss seeing you, talking to you. Uh, and also, I mean, Dr. Williams, uh, Dr. Derek, Dr. Uh, Jenny. I mean, there's so many people here. And Julie, I'm really glad, uh, Julie Pierre, that you're here because we talked uh, about uh, some of this stuff last night on yours. Uh, for those of you that missed Julie's last night, we had a very informal and crazy discussion about just, I mean, it, it went all over the place. And we're going to have some of that in here this morning, but there's going to be a lot more of it, uh, I, I'm hoping. So having said that, thank you so very much. And as you had indicated, Mabel, this is about 
uh, the topic is surrounding or the center of the topic is judgment, forgiveness, and obviously lifting humanity, which is uh, the portion of on passage that we're all here for and that we're trying to relate to in a very personal way as well as a corporate way. So we've all heard about heart, right? Now, heart is um, that's uh, our ability to apply or it's our ability to do what's right because it's right and to do it against the opposition. We know that there's opposition out there. There's not everybody wanting us to be doing what we're doing, but if we keep a, a strong, strong mind and keep our uh, compass pointed, pointed to true north in a way, then we'll make it. Um, we've also heard of AI with heart, and that's, that's us administering our ability to do what's right inside a business framework that provides value through an automated success and encourages a mindset of generosity. Um, I think we're all in, in for that. We've heard of the correction to the corruption, which means that we're taking that business model to the world as an alternative to the current online business model, right? A much better, good system. And obviously the, the goal of a lot of us here is the concept of lifting humanity which is the result of on passage generating value and success for its members and those members in turn sharing what we've learned and what we've gained with friends, family, and communities the world over. So we all know that we're on a magnificent journey. The question is, where does a journey like this really start? Where, where did everything, you know, when, when you go right back to the roots and really drill down to the base What's at the base and what really was the seed that got us started? Well, simply put, everything starts with a thought and everything starts with a choice. Okay, You get a thought and then you can make a choice. And when on pass, it started about <laughs> six years ago. It's because a man by the name of Ash Mufara thought about creating an online business model uh, that was going to be based on connectedness and on mutual benefit. That was revolutionary. Um, there wasn't a lot of people thinking like that, uh, although at, at the turn of the century, we, we did come up with something. Well, it wasn't even the turn of the century. It was a little later. We came up with conscious business, and that's kind of how we got started. But Mr. Mufar came up with his own saying, hey, we're going to do it this way. So he made the choice, right? He came up with the thought of creating this online business based on connectedness. And then he made the choice, as Dr. Betty likes to continually remind us, to do it or die. And so that's that's really how we started. That's how everything that on passive is now. Now, we don't always have choices that are hard pressed like that one. I mean, there's not a lot of times we'll look at it and say, you know, I'm going to do this. If it kills me, I'm going to do this and meet it. But each one of us are where we are because of choices that we have made. And we're going to hear a lot about choices this morning. But the, the relevancy to our topic, right, today is before we ever got to a point of displaying heart in anything, right, as individuals, there's a fork in the road in a way that, that comes in the, the thought process. And that's because we always have the choice to go off to the left kind of in judgment or we can go off to the right in forgiveness and when we talk about these things you know uh, these choices it doesn't just happen with are we going to proceed with heart i mean that choice is there no matter what we're doing no matter where we're at forgiveness always allows us to let our judgments go and to see others with compassion and understanding. Now, this can lead to a stronger, uh, more meaningful relationship for us. It opens our hearts to love. Obviously, to continue on that path is the path that we want for on passive, right? Being laid out for lifting humanity, we want to choose forgiveness. But for now, let's take a look at something a little less popular, judgment, right? Because the vast majority of us do live kind of quote unquote in judgment to one degree or another. And judgment refers to the thought process of um, forming uh, opinions, um, making evaluations and reaching conclusions about people or events or situations or ideas, right? I mean, it's really a, a whole, a 
a whole barrage of things. And as the adage goes, or the, ad, the adage goes, when we point a finger at someone, then there's three fingers pointing right back at us. That's because there's a deeper problem with being judgmental about somebody than might, might be seen on the surface. And it actually stems from a, a lack of self, uh, if, if I could put it that way, within us, right? If we look at it like um, nobody's really, folks aren't so proud uh, to admit that they judge, right? But everybody does it. The question is why? Well, because somebody is inherently, or when we're judging, it's because inherently it's a, a me kind of a problem and everybody undergoes it and not a whole lot of us really care to address it. So it's a real thing and it comes out in a mechanism that's called projection. And projection is something that we use to displace our judgment, to, to uh, reassign it, if you will, right? Now in psychology, judgments are often projections. And this means that we might base others based on things that we secretly worry about ourselves. And I know that sounds a little strange, but some of the reasons that we have for judgmental mentalities or attitudes is that we want to avoid dealing with potential feelings of either inferior, uh, inferiority or shame, perhaps. Um, we might have the innate, you know, the, the, the internal urge to be right or to be better, to see ourselves as being superior to others. And as I'm fond of saying, you know, we live in a, in a, a polar universe. So there's also a binary or polar view that we have of the world around us, making us think, you know, in terms of extremes like up, down, hot, cold, long, short, right? And these things, they make us believe that we have to choose to be either right or wrong. And a lot of times this judgmental attitude and these projections go to further that, to prove that we're either right or we're wrong. Um, incidentally, we hear about this type of thing, you know, polar, uh, polar universe and uh, every stick you pick up has got two ends kind of uh, a lot these days. But what we don't normally hear, there is a third position. And this is the center position between the two extremes. And this is called balance or equilibrium. And that's really where we want to that's where we want to live. You know, we want we want balance in our lives and we want to understand what's going on anyway. We end up judging people, you know, someone or something, because we're projecting a feeling that we have. And in that, we are denying ourselves the opportunity to process it for our own healing. So what exactly is projection? Well, that's the process of putting whatever we feel onto a different person or animal or an object, right? Um, for our purposes, projection is often used as a defensive protection. Uh, it is a projection that kind of defends our position, if you will. And it just means that it's being used to project or assign things, feelings, emotions that we deem personally uh, unacceptable, things that we don't like. Uh, for example, we, we may project our anger onto somebody, uh, believing that they're the ones that are angry, not us. Um, quite often, uh, projection <laughs> to assign uh, these negative traits or unwanted emotions to other folks without even our being aware of it ourselves. And as it's related to forgiveness and judgment, when we talk about projection, we're talking about um, psychically denying a personal ownership of the things that we're actually in judgment of. And these things, you know, that, that we don't want to believe or feel or be associated with. And these things that we've already judged for ourselves as being undeserving or wicked or <laughs> sometimes even, you know, contemptible. So we project them uh, energetically speaking out and away from us. And again, this is a real thing. It's, it's energetic and people feel it. If you've ever seen or felt somebody get close and man, you can just, wow, you know, they got some bad vibe or they suck the air out of a room is one, one way of putting it. Right. 
projecting like that uses a form of subtle energy, which is energy of a very low intensity. Um, prayer is subtle energy. If you've heard of uh, prana or chi or our, our bio field, that's subtle energies as well. And projection, put another way, is when we mentally direct the energy of those judgments out and they land on whoever we're directing them at or whoever happens to be in the vicinity. Uh, well, let me put a little claimer in here. They don't really land on anybody. It's more like immersing them in a field of negative subtle energy. But they feel it. We feel it. We know what it's about. We, we can certainly recognize it. And at the root of all this, projecting our judgments is the effect of the denial of a fundamental truth that says, you know what? Nothing we really experience is caused by anything outside of us. In fact, what we experience is the only thing that we what we experience is the effect of our own choices. And by projecting outward like we do, we are in effect screaming to the world, right? What we experience is not the result of something we have done that is being caused by something outside of us, usually the person that's gotten us upset to start with. So projection is how we declare that reality is not the way or it's another way that God originally made it. And it shows us that we're victims of circumstance in the world that can do things to uh, to us or control us that can cause us to otherwise make decisions maybe we wouldn't have normally made. Now, when we project our judgments onto somebody else, it helps us believe that our anger or hatred or resentment or bitterness or whatever we're feeling, right, is justified, that it's okay. Um, as a side note, uh, of sorts, uh, the legal system that we have, it's something that provides a way to make sure that the judgment we cast on others is socially acceptable. Um, through the law, it, you know, we're, we're told it's okay not to connect with others and treat them compassionately, like they've not been crying out for help through that particular behavior. And rather by choosing uh, to believe, you know, that their bad behavior is anything but a cry for help, Sometimes we can even see it as an outright attack and we create separation as a cause of this. And through the law, quote unquote, we actually condemn that behavior. We apply a judgment and then we become justified through that punishment. And that's a that's a story you hear oftentimes in, in many things, even in scripture. Yet the punishment is nothing more than an attempt to convince those that dole it out or meet it out or put it out, right? That the evil or the low or dense energy or the darkness or whatever you want to call it is not in them. It's out there somewhere. So put another way, projection is us trying to get rid of what we don't want to own within ourselves. It's actually a denial of truth and it comes from a position of denial. Um, if you could, Imagine for a moment a society that has a, a legal view, uh, predominantly speaking, that views others as an aspect of ourselves. And since we would help ourselves, then we would help them by offering you know, forgiveness, love, and support for their healing. Now, scriptures tells us that we should be loving our neighbors as ourselves. Uh, there's certainly some value in that. And that's that's a good reason for it. But can you imagine what society would be like if we did that? But if that's something that we like to see happen, then we got to make a choice because it's got to begin with us and we grow through that choice. A lot of folks in on passive are doing that right now. I mean, look at this group with Mabel in Singapore, Malaysia. Look, look at the, the charter you've got and the things that you're doing. Um, the influences you, you brought in with Dr. Bill and a lot of others in making that happen. Uh, look at uh, Julie Pierre's group or, or Dr. Mundi's group. And there's so many groups. I wonder why I just named three women. Huh? Might be something in that. But there's so many people out there with groups that are that are lifting the group and, and trying to do something good. Obviously, there's a lot more because when you compare that to how many members are in Unpassive, that's a drop in the bucket. But what I'm saying is 
the way to heal the world is not by trying to change what's outside of us. No matter how much we hear the world crying for help, and lots of people hear it. I mean, we just named a few of them. It all begins by changing what's inside of us, like so many of us here have done and continue to do, because it is an ongoing process. And when that happens, right, we become a channel for an energy that knows how to use our gifts, knows how to put us where we need to be, when we need to be there, knows how to connect to each other and to the events that help us get that job done with heart, right? That's the aim, how to do what's right because it's right. It's a power that knows how to heal us and how to heal the world. It's one that works in us and through us, and we tune into it because if we want peace in the world, then we have simply got to have peace in ourselves. Projection is the mechanism that we use to judge others. We all do it, and it colors our brothers and sisters with the very things that we would judge within ourselves. And these are the things that we don't like and the things we want to get rid of. You know, when you say you're you're pointing the finger at somebody and there's three of them coming back, there's, there's a big deal about that. So when we're judging somebody inherently, I've already said, you know, that that's a me problem. So the, the, the thing is, you know, how do we get rid of or how do we break the pattern of this, this kind of projection? Well, forgiveness is it's a bridge to the souls of others. So in order for us to get there, in order for us to lay off with the, with the projection and the judgment, we need to start building that bridge. And it's, you know, it's, it's built one brick at a time, so to speak, by understanding that we are, first of all, where we are because of decisions that we have made. Nobody else is responsible for that, right? And what we experience has its roots in us. And doing it's kind of simple. It can be difficult in that it takes some commitment and, and probably no small amount of discipline because you've really got to think about what you're doing. And it's work when you start getting into your mental uh structures you know uh in a word lattice work if you will it, it can it can get kind of hard right and you've heard me say everything is an experience or everything that we experience is a reflection of something in us so when there's something out in the world and we're seeing it happen it's unfolding in front of us to show us something that is within us right so when something that's reflected to us by the world causes us to get upset or mad, those feelings can pretty quickly move us right into judgment. And in it's, it's those moments um, when it first starts, that's where we find ourselves judging something or someone. And that's where we go, oh, I can recognize this energy. I can recognize this feeling, right? And it doesn't really matter what you're judging whether it's a it or a thing or a person or whatever it's all judgment but it's in these moments if we stop right there and it takes practice we'll be able to find that we can choose to look we can make that choice not to judge right but we can look at what's happening with innocence and honesty and i don't mean looking at it in a naive sense or ignorantly i mean more objectively, we can look at it in, in a right way. And when we recognize it, that's when we make the other choice. When we say, oh, I recognize this, this energy that I'm feeling and I'm about ready to reject my anger or something out, that's when we make a different choice and we choose, well, wait a minute, let's, let's do this a better way. Of course, at that moment, our mind is gonna come up with a thousand and one reasons why we're right right? Or we have a right to feel like we do, how we have a judgment, right? You know, but judgment in this sense is never justified. Um, the opposite of forgiveness is judgment and judgment will always create separation and it will always create guilt. Nevertheless, we all experience it. Now, when somebody's plucked, plucked our last nerve, so to speak, right? By doing something that kind of really torques us off, we feel it and we're going to go directly into that feeling and start projecting all manner of hurt all over them if we can. 
But it's that moment that I'm talking about. If we choose, we can remember in that moment that every event that we face or is reflected to us is a neutral event. This is to say the events have no meaning until we give them meaning, until we assign meaning to them. I used as an example last night when I was talking with uh, Mr. Smart of uh, Vital, I said, you know, if somebody comes up here in America and spits in my face, because of the meaning I assigned to that, they're liable to get, well, I don't know if I'd punch them, but I'm sure I wouldn't have a good good reaction. But maybe on the other side of the world, if, if somebody came up and spit in my face, it would be because they know that there's certain contaminants that are killed by enzymes in spit. And so they spit in my face and wiped it on my face to, to kill the bugs. I mean, I don't know, but I'm just saying you can look at things differently and you don't have to assign anything. You, you can make it mean whatever you want it to mean. That's what I'm saying. Events are neutral. So until we assign an event to it, we don't have to react because until we give it meaning, we won't have a feeling. And if we don't have the feeling, then we're not going to start projecting. So, I mean, all right, I'm not going to beat that up. <laughs> it just means that we can choose judgment or we can choose compassion, right? And compassion leads to forgiveness. And when we forgive, we're simply choosing to release others from a perception that we've been projecting onto them. I mean, ultimately, forgiving someone is actually an act of forgiving oneself for the projection, for the judgment that we've placed on them. You see, when we forgive what we think somebody's done or what caused them or us to judge them, that offense goes away. It's removed along with the related thoughts and feelings of that judgment. So if there's no offense, there's no reason for judgment and the judgment goes away as well. And that's when the healing starts. That's when the subtle energies really start to dissipate and to do some good in your body. And some of these negative energies that we have in us start to dissipate and go away. And in this way, forgiveness is an essential key to the healing for all of us, us and them. But the real healing starts and ends with the one that forgives. Now, with all of these things that I've just talked about in mind, we have a way to lift humanity. On passive is based on compassion and compassionate action to do exactly that, to lift humanity. And through on passive, we can do that more easily. Guess why? Well, because compassion, compassionate action and doing what's right, that's an accepted, encouraged practice within our environment, within on passive. Not so much with the rest of the world. I mean, it's out there, right? But in this way, we can be a part to the correction of the corruption by doing what's right and by sharing our abundance with our family and friends and communities and beyond as we are able. And all of these things are provided to us. The ability to use them are provided to us through on passive, but it takes heart to make it all work the way that it's meant to work, the way that it's been designed to work, you know, by Mr. Mufar and the teams. So we would ask ourselves, where is our heart in all of this? I mean, are we clean? Are we clear? Do we have high energies of forgiveness and compassion on the one side? Or are we all clogged up and cloudy like a drain pipe with a bunch of grease in it with low energy bitterness and resentment and judgment and that sort of stuff? Now, like me, uh, some of us here, when we start to think of it, we might want to do a little house cleaning in preparation for the abundance and the goodness that we know is on the way. And that's easy enough to do. Looking at other people through the lens of compassion is a choice. It's a choice we make right? It's an active, knowing choice that we make. And like everything else, it's going to start small. You know, we're brought uh, experiences through synchronicities, which are, they're just everyday events that are organizing principles that line things up for us in a way, right? And there's been a million synchronicities that we've 
gotten a hold of that have been lined up and brought us to so that we are part of and are sharing the journey of our passive. And it's been designed that way to generate success through compassion. And I'll tell you what, Mr. Mafara has modeled that every step of the way. As a matter of fact, I saw him model forgiveness really Wow, really close up about four years ago. And it's still an inspiration to me when I think back and look at the events that surrounded that. So I'm grateful because it's it set me uh, on a course. But you know what? Just like him, it's up to us individually to choose how we look at things and as a result, how we're going to feel about them, right? Now, according to the world... <laughs> Choosing generosity and compassion as a foundation for a business model probably isn't the way to go. Mr. Mufara says they think it's insane. I tend to agree with him. But the power to choose in this way, to choose forgiveness and to choose the good things, that frees us up to be in the world without being of the world. The, uh, the Dalai Lama said, quote, if you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. So I'm going to let it go there. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope there's some nuggets for you in here. And thank you. Back to you, Mabel. Wow. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you. I'm still digesting, still digesting. And I'm, you know, you're so right to say that ultimately to fulfill the mission of lifting up humanity and to be able to do it with a heartfelt feelings we need to clear our mind of the clutter you know of of any judgment tragedies etc so uh, to love humanity with a compassion let's clear our heart and uh let me continue to digest and uh, I'll get John Barilla to go first because he has to leave. And then um, I'll get Dr. Bill Williams and then Corina to just share further your message, Jeffrey. So, John. Yeah, unmute, please. You need to unmute, John. Oh, you can't unmute? Mm. Mm -mm. You can't unmute. Can I unmute you? I can't unmute you. Refresh. Okay, okay I think he's refreshing and... Uh, Just wait 30 seconds. Uh, we'll wait 30 seconds for him. And then, so Jeffrey, thank you so much. What a mindset growth. And, uh, you know, we were hearing uh, last week and also weeks is that if money is not an issue, it can't change anything if we ourselves are not changed. Everything starts from oneself. And a person, one person can change humanity. And the testimony here is Mr. Ash Mufara, who one person changing 1.4 million of us, you know, or all the founders of us. And then can you imagine the number of us that really can lift up humanity? So that's why, uh, oh, passion, we are here to unite each other's passion and uh, to, to grow mindset and leadership so that we can do more and more effectively. So we'll wait for John and maybe while waiting for John, if, uh, if Dr. Bill is ready, is writing, uh, if he's ready, and then we'll have John and then Corinne. 
Hey, I can jump in there. Thank you, Mabel. <laughs> Thank you. Always, always good to be first in line. <laughs> when Jeffrey speaks, everybody listens, that's for sure. E.F. Hutton told us about Jeffrey a long time ago. They said, hey, he's going to be coming along, laying down some truths for us, so you better pay attention when he speaks. So yep. that's always been my experience when Jeffrey talks. It's always mm -hmm. going to be philosophical. It's always going mm -hmm. to be based on science. Uh, this time, the science of psychology. So thank you, Dr. Jeffrey. <laughs> you know, I, here's kind of what I thought when I heard this. Um, we all remember Gary Larson, who wrote and drew cartoons called The Far Side. And Gary was uh, famous because he was talking about surrealistic humor, things that were beyond normal, poking fun at the things that, that are with his, um, you know, use of caricatures, um, making fun of social situations, uh, improbable events that would happen. So that's the side that's the opposite of today. I wanted to draw a distinction between the far side and what I'm calling the soft side. What we got today was an understanding of the soft side of how a human interaction can be, how it is, how it can be. Uh, Jeffrey painted a very clear picture between judgment and forgiveness as two places you can live and um, the soft side is, if you understand this, it's, it's not the hard side, which would be technology, which would be the wires, the gears, the bits, the bytes, the computer chips that make up on passive ecosystem or the data center. Now, this is the soft side that makes up the humanity of all mm. passive. And so he wove a, a tapestry that gave us a meaning an understanding of judgment, an understanding of forgiveness and how you can create love and synchronicity. So I love the word of synchronicity. And that's because that's how we all blend together. It's how we all become one. The unpassive uh, model of business and the unpassive model of structure among us brings us together as a whole to work together as a whole. So it's a, it's a beautiful concept that Ash put together and Jeffrey kind of displays that in his talk about how unity and camaraderie based around passion of compassion. If you have passion for compassion, then, then you have the, the materials to weave together that tapestry. And that's what we've got. I love the fact that uh, Corrine's here from Switzerland and uh, most numerous number of people here are from India and we're centered in Singapore, but we have outlying folks from St. Lucia and South Africa and all around the world, Australia. It just means that we, we have a tapestry that's woven well so uh, that's the soft side of on passive then, and it's good to have a, a clarity about that. And Jeffrey always brings clarity. That's the one thing I noticed about his talks. I understand more when I finish listening to him. He doesn't confuse me. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Mr. Jeff, always. He doesn't confuse. He goes deep, and we have to catch up. He goes deep. Maybe the deep side is the next topic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Bill. Thank you, Jeffrey, again. So, Corinne, would you like to share? Uh, yes. You are really here to share. And then after, after Corinne, can we have Julie? Julie, your name was mentioned by Jeffrey. Okay. Yes, certainly. Certainly. Aloha to everybody again. That means alo means sharing o stands for on passive for for the complete solution for the whole and ha means in hawaiian the holy breath i interpret it as the loving spirit so aloha to me is transporting i share or we share the loving spirit of on passive 
everything is about sharing and everything is about the loving spirit. You know, well, I have to say, I love to go deep, Jeffrey, you know <laughs> okay. that. And so I love it and more, more, and I'd like to compliment a bit because uh, I mean, he's very um, eloquent <laughs> with the English. I'm, and I'm getting closer. I'm projecting now. <laughs> I'm getting closer <laughs> to be so eloquent. Uh, that, that's a, a longing which I have within. Thank you, thank, thank you, Jeffrey. And, um, you know, thank you for inviting me, Mabel, in, in the last minute. Yesterday we, we made this up. Um, I would like to be the remembrance, the role of the remembrance, that we are all, well, the self-empowerment is key and on passive, don't you think so? You, you, you have heard about that, self-empowerment. Mm -hmm. And probably you remember that the universe speaks in love frequency. And to complement or support what Jeffrey shared with us, in my words, we are responsible for all what we do, everything what we say, everything what we don't say and all what we hear and interpret mirroring our awareness and consciousness, because that's what he said, you know? We are mirroring each other. And as soon as we recognize that, we get self-empowered because that's so fun. We are awake. We can awake our own process of self-empowerment and being responsible, you know? So uh, one reflection, what if, there is no need to forgive anybody that making peace within us ourselves that's an open question and of course jeffrey shared about that what if we release the role of being judging and instead we accept the situation as it's shown to us and we are then accepting our triggers our conditionings, our limitations, uh, which could be within us, and we're in peace with us. And we just smile within with a brighter smile, with a brighter, loving, lightful smile. What if we are aware and remember to be, and we are in the united field? Human being is versus human doing. We are human being. What does this mean? Being, not doing. Anyhow, not anyhow, but anyhow, <laughs> we are all doing all the time. You know, it's compassion in action. Yes, action. However, I guess, and you said, um, Jeffrey, why am I talking and why I'm saying now three women? I know why. I, I, I'm not projecting, but I, I feel you. And probably this is divine mm -hmm. divinity in you, which recognizes that we in 2024, now, in the moment of now, we are invited to include and integrate more and more the feminine frequency the feminine the divine feminine and it's all over in the man and, and the female everywhere and as soon as we integrate more of this compassionate qualities we are more aware and more in peace with us and with everybody so there's no judging anymore imagine it it, it is a fact this is physics <laughs> isn't that physics jeffrey it's just mathematics you know, if there's just one quality that we are aware, we are responsible of who we are and what we do and what we are and what we are doing responsibly, we could smile to everybody and say, oh, thank you. Thank you for, 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 for being my challenge. I love challenges. And we know here I, I make the bridge to Ash Muthara. He loves challenges too. Because through the challenges, we expand in case we accept the learning process. So we expand in consciousness, we expand in self-love, we expand in everything. And again, being expansion, 
being what is the dynamic of the whole universe. And we have our universe within us. So yes, it's always the mutual benefit because whatever we do and we are, is we are shining, just shine light, baby. I would say, baby, shine, shine, shine. Whatever we shine, we, 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 we are always sending frequencies if, of victimhood, of self-empowerment, whatever. But let's assume that everybody, let's assume and pretend, please pretend, because here we are manifesting something great uh, through this opening of, 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 of Jeffrey and your topic today. Thank you again. Let's pretend that we shine everyone with love and light and peace the signature the coding that is everywhere in our surrounding not only in our universe but everywhere and beyond so no need to point others because we point ourselves of course that we have heard this and you know and um uh, what else? I, I I took some notes because of this. I, I I love this topic. You know, you know that <laughs> I love this topic, and it's a it's a process, and it's not only. I I reflect again. Why is on passive different with other big enterprises? I believe and I feel that on passive is a soul business and a heart business. And a genius business, because Ash Mufrao has a wonderful genius mind. He has a generous heart, and he is aware of being a soul, too. He is aligned with a positive intention and with the divine. So um, here we are invited to remember and to remind ourselves of our own divinity, and then we just see outside of ourselves divinity. That's the mirror, right? If we pretend to accept and dive in into divin divinity, di di divinity or divinity, how we say that, Jeffrey? Divinity or divinity? Divinity. 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 You know what? The divine self, our divine <laughs> self, our, our pure essence within us. And um, this could be reminded in our heart space. And if the heart takes the mind by his hand, you know, just lovingly and with much compassion, then the connection is perfect. And the mind follows the heart, this pure heart. And there we are again. We are in peace. Our ego or our aspects of different topics will be in peace because they follow the pure essence of divine essence we are within and we are in peace again no projections anymore imagine that imagine and pretend it's possible we are living in a new era and however wherever energy is focused energy flows so if we remind and we do this compassion in action and we um, are aware that everything has its reason to be. Everyone, everyone is a single puzzle of the beauty. You know, I always say our diversity is our beauty and our unity is our power. You remember that. So everyone is different, yes, with an exceptional spice, with exceptional flavor. And if we could just work on this flavor, because probably, you know, if we pro project, oh, what beautiful flavor Jeffrey has, he's eloquent, as I said, you know, that's because I'm a lack of eloquence in, 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 in English in this case. So I'm saying thank you, Jeffrey, for making this visible and feelable for me. Thank you. I am evolving more in my eloquent eloquency. <laughs> you know, Jeffrey, so thank you. Thank you for all this inputs all of this um sometimes we are it's 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 good to provoke or to invite you know in a loving way and um i'm so 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 
grateful to be here today. And this is a synchronicity because I decided yesterday, and uh, it's uh, it's not it's 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 just um, an appointment we made, a divine mm. appointment. You know, so everything is the most wonderful experience. And imagine and pretend we are all reunited, you know, connecting our, divin our divinity. And um, now I would like to finish with a little exercise where we can do, even if you want, in your mind or in your heart or with your whole being. Imagine or better pretend we stand all together in a circle. Close mm -hmm. your eyes or open your eyes it's up to you you mm -hmm. choose as always all who are here now and everyone related to on passive and beyond no humanity why not why not the collective family and now we pretend and we imagine to hold our hand all together and in stillness telepathically with no words, just through our heart space, we feel the acceptance, the love, the light, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, the family being, our being and our gratitude to be incarnated here, now, today, and all this period of time. And we smile and we say thank you Thank you, thank you for being here and ready to uplift yourself as we uplift ourselves, we uplift humanity. It's that easy. It is always starting with our own being and our own choice. So it's so easy and simple. And this year, 2024, is the year that's my projection of stabilizing, of cleansing, clearing things which you know don't serve you anymore. You realize, oh yes, oh that is, you know, I grow and expand and clarity and you being authentic, authentic. If you're sad, be sad. If you are whatever, say it, do it, don't um, suppress, just be as you are. You are perfect as you are. Don't compare with anybody else than only with your own process. Yes, this is my sharing today and the complimenting with, with Jeffrey, which I appreciate very much. And of course, Bill, to you, I love your analogies. You know, Bill, I love your anal analogies with this... Um, uh, I don't know this uh, man who you named uh, the cartoon. However, this is a beautiful analogy. And um, thank you for all your wisdom always. You know, I, you have always these kind of analogies. They um, simple to understand, to understand and accept and to keep smiling, being aware, authentic, aware, and we recognize that the only moment which is happening now is the now moment. It is eternal. It's only the moment. Talk to the nature. Do they say they have cycle? Of course, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ashmo Farah, for being in this mode of do it or die daily. This is his approach to keep him just going on. And we choose to go with him side by side. He's integrated in our circle. Always, you, you, could, you could do that every day, you know, and smile and integrate and pretend and feel to be in this circle all together, all together in United Field. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Mabel. Mabel? Is Mabel there? Mabel, are you there? Can I be heard? Is my mic working now? Oh, yes, John, you're back. Yeah. I, 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 is Mabel here? Where'd she go? <laughs> uh, let me just jump in, though. Uh, I'm so sorry. I do have to run. So I wanted to, 
I, I had to reboot my phone and uh, uh, well, my mic wasn't working. But anyway, I'm back. And I just very quickly want to say thank you, Jeffrey. As you know, I, I follow you around. I listen to you a lot. I haven't really heard this particular uh, subject uh, uh, before. Uh, and uh, I appreciate so much. And, and, and four words uh, stood out in my mind. Um, uh, humanity, uh, uh, judgment, uh, forgiveness. Well, I should say humanity, offense, judgment, forgiveness in that order. Uh, for myself and how I relate to Unpassive and our uh, hope to uh, help humanity move forward with our hearts to help humanity. In my mind, I think that personally, I don't judge humanity. Uh, it has committed no offense. Uh, I don't need to forgive because of that. So uh, I feel that uh, I forgive humanity. I don't need to forgive humanity. And I am very happy not to judge humanity, which makes me have purpose with Unpassive to move forward in the future to help mankind, help humanity, and do some of the things that we intend to do uh, for humanity. So just kind of throwing that all in my mind there real quickly to put that out there. I just wanted to say that before I, I uh, have to leave because I got to get out of here. I got my appointment. So thank you very much. And that's all I have to say. Thank you, John. Thank you. Jeffrey, you called me just now, Jeffrey. Yes. I, you know, I got so excited about <laughs> what our speakers were going to talk about that I wanted to play a song that is kind of fun. It's got a great message. And I would like folks to... I did it in a karaoke style so you can read the lyrics. Yes. But I'm asking that people would listen to the message, not the singer, not the guy okay. doing the singing. Okay? Okay. Yes, please. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play yes. that right now. <laughs> yeah. And thank you, John. Thank you, John. If you are leaving, all the best with your doctor's appointment. Yes, thank you, John. Here we go. the song no sound
<laughs> that was it. Wow. 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 Thank you, Jeffrey, for singing. For thank you for the song and for singing and for the video. Beautiful people. I love what if we could have one day where we can gather everyone together and pass the button. Wow. Fantastic. Even just a more exactly what uh, Corinne was saying, you know, close our eyes, hold our hands together in a circle. Wow, how both of you are clicking. <laughs> Deep and deeper. Uh, John has, spo has spoken. Uh, the last I call is uh, Julie. If you are around and can unmute. Julie Pierre, can you? Thank you, Mabel. Hey. Okay, great. Wow. You put me to speak after the great Dr. Bill Williams <laughs> and um, Jeffrey Mullock and um, Corey. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to match up. Anyway. <laughs> Corinne, when you asked us to um, do that little exercise of close your eyes and um, sorry, I, I, I'm not in the position to turn on my camera now. Sorry about that. But um, when you did ask us to do that little exercise, I for, felt a warm, fuzzy feeling coming from my heart and um, going through my entire being. And, um, oh, that was beautiful. Thank you for allowing me to experience this nice feeling. Um, Dr. Jeffrey, Professor Jeffrey, oh my goodness. Last night on my platform, you we did it. But um, this morning, I am happy to be here because you put the icing on the cake now for me. So thank you very much. Thank you for great lessons. Thank you for your, your wisdom. Um, when I listen to you speak, I can sense and feel and hear the wisdom in your messages. Um, a lot of what is being discussed here today is based and founded on the great book of life, which is the Bible for those of us who believe. All of the lessons are in there. Forgiveness, non-judgment, um, so beautifully put together, um, Dr. Jeffrey. One of the things that... Um, I have experienced and um, learned is that I learned it the hard way because I remember one time um, a young lady had done something to me and I lived with that pain for maybe more than seven years. And I just, every time I thought of it, it brought back the pain. It was like reliving the experience all over again. And one day um, I was speaking with um, a friend of mine and he said to me, you know you need to forgive her so you can be whole again. And I dug deep within me to get the courage to forgive her. And oh, what a you know, great experience. I felt refreshed. I felt so whole. I felt, you know. And the other thing is the energy that we give out into the universe, this is what comes back to us. So if you walk the streets angry and um, you're going to get this energy coming back to you. But if you walk the streets, you wake up and you tell yourself, I am thankful, I am alive, and I am blessed. And you, you speak these words into your being. Let me tell you, your day is going to go fantastic. You're going to have such a beautiful day. And um, the feeling is just, oh, it's like living heaven on earth. When you, you, can, you can 
put yourself into this beautiful mindset that nothing is going to upset you and you are not going to be judgmental like Doc, um i keep on saying dr jeffrey this name sticks with me <laughs> you know you are not going to be judgmental um and a lot of times a lot of times we see people in situations we do not take the time to think and say um what is the cause why because there must be a cause why this person is in this mood or this person is doing such and such there must be a cause there must be something deeper than what we see so if we allow ourselves to stop not be judgmental and sometimes put ourselves in that person's shoes we this world would be a better place it would be such a better place forgiveness is not only for the person who is to be forgiven but forgiveness is peace of mind and good health for ourselves good health for ourselves it's a mental thing i'm telling you it's a mental thing really i've experienced that so many times in my life if i may say again i remember walking the streets and there was this young man he was so angry and he walked he was walking through when he passed by me he stepped on my foot and i stopped i was expecting a, an apology no but he got more angry he's like you're in my way why are you in my way i am in a hurry and blah 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 and he went on and on and on and i stood i was able to discern the holy spirit within me and i stood and i said young man i'm sorry he stepped on my foot but i was the one apologizing and i said i am so sorry and i did not utter the entire feeling of what i was thinking about him because i was thinking you're so young and you are so angry i'm sorry for what you are going through and i just said to him i am sorry and at the end of it all he stopped he calmed down and he gave me a hug and i was like oh my god this is you know i was able to touch a soul i was able to reach out to somebody and if we are able to implement these things in our everyday living when it comes to unpassive and doing what mr ash mufaro has asked us to assist him in doing in uplifting humanity we would not be judgmental we would not be the drug addict be the prostitute be it whoever we encounter in life we would not be judgmental but we would feel within ourselves that there is a need to assess these people so again i say thank you thank you dr bill for endorsing what um our dr jeffrey mullock has said today and um great job great job thank you guys thank you very much thank you thank you so much Jeannie, can we ask, uh, open up for others to raise their hand, to share? Anybody else we are opening up for anyone who would like to say something, share something, enrich us, empower us? Anybody else? Uh, do we see any hands raised? Is Ginny, you are muted. Ginny, you can can hear me with Faith? Okay. Uh, Ginny, you are muted. If not, refresh yourself again. <laughs> you can't unmute. So can I have uh, a few more to share? And maybe we will close... Uh, latest by 11 is 10 36 we do can can have a few more people to share yeah. uh okay we have okay raj can you yeah, take a minute uh, or two 
two minutes. Okay. Uh, thank Genie, you so you much. Uh, yeah. Uh, Raj, I, go yeah. Ahead. Wow. Thank you so yeah. much, uh, Sister Marvel. Uh, you are doing a really wonderful anchoring here. Wow. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, the galaxy of intellectual. Mm -hmm. Wow. What a great, sensational, powerful, and explosive war. And highly uh, valued, and I can say it was a sublime and outstanding presentation by our master man, Mr. Jeff Morlox, about judgment, forgiveness, and how and passive are flipping the humanity. Mm. It was really tremendous, wow! And so powerful session. Wow, I had so you, sir, for incredible share presentation, and we have seen really an outstanding sharing from Mr. D <laughs> great legend, Dr. Bill Williams and Julie sister and Corina sisters, even all. Yeah. I want to add here about, he talk about, here yeah, today's topic is so outstanding way. Forgiveness, yes, it is important for emotional well being, restoring the relationship, personal growth of anybody by choosing to forgive. We create a, create a space for healing connection, just like on passive, which is a healing factor for humanity and mm -hmm. personal empowerment, allowing us to live more fulfilling and joyful lives. It is a courageous act. He talked about that forgiveness is essential. It is essential to our way. It makes you so strong, resilient. Okay. When you forgive, we take control of our emotions and response instead of following the action of others to dictate our lives i think forgiveness in a sense of our 21st century of the world first point he talk about a judgment skill what wow, that, that's amazing definition judgment skill give you ability to make well-informed decision reach rational conditions conclusion promote rational attitude and create objective opinions my dear friend your judgment competency give you in any situation of your life how you can take effective decision which can empower our downtrodden people the people who needs a lot of affection and finally on passive is heavily uplifting global humanity act of beacon of hope already we have seen the great example on passive has taken a great action, a great response, a helping hands during the earthquake in Syria and Turkey. That was a beginning, but we are going to miles away before we sleep because on passive is a global voice of the planet. We are promoting love, compassion, and the big example, the way our chief speaker, Mr. Master Man, Mr. Jaffe Morlock, sir, gave the, all those points. It was splendid. Fabulous, stupendous. I love it. Thank you so much, sir, for empowering and nurturing mindset growth of our founding members and our leaders that were really sensible. And finally, I want to say that on passive is in great mission to empower each and every one with the AI with the heart that is generous heart and compassion because these are the ultimate, ultimate solution. To how to bring the smiles in the billions of the faces of the people. Okay, so that is why I am saying that on passage, unparalleled, unmatchable, and most conscious business model of the planet to empower each and every one. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you so much. See you all. Yeah, love you all. Thank you, Raj. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for your sharing and coming in. Dr. Bagat, can you unmute, please? and share your thoughts and, and reach us. Uh, would you like to... Can you... Can you unmute? <coughs> wow. Dr. Bagat, let me see where you are. Can't unmute, huh? Um, you can't unmute. Can't 
can unmute. Can, yeah, he has to refresh. Okay, it's refreshing. Anybody else who would like to share? Maybe a couple more. Uh, Hello. <clears throat> yes. Hello. Yes. Am I audible now? Uh, yeah. Yes, Dr. we Dr. can hear you now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sister. So much. Uh, my mics were open, but I don't know why there was no voice. Mm. So, thank you so much for inviting. And uh, what a great presentation by our brother, Mr. Jeffrey Morlock today. Mm -hmm. As usual, he nails all his uh, these uh, points okay. and the topics. And uh, about today's topic, judgment, forgiveness, and lifting humanity. It is a great lesson for every one of us today because we know that we are human beings and often we commit mistakes, every one of us. But we usually judge others by their bad deeds and ourselves by our good deeds. And we always remain impartial in judgment. And it happens many times in life. But I think we should never be partial we should never be impartial. We should always have the decisions with impartiality, with the both sides taking the facts, and only then we can judge about others and even for ourselves. And we should be very clear in our intentions or the judgment, whether it is it's our routine life or in our official position, wherever we are, and especially talking of the on passive, we are in the best hands, in the best business for uplifting the humanity. Mm -hmm. So every work of us, every brother and sister, should be contributory to the on passive and not in violation to its rules. And for that, whatever instructions we receive here from the company and the ethics of the company, we must follow them and guide others also in the same way. And many times we do not for forgive others. But if we think that without forgiveness, the life is gotten by endless cycle of resentments and retaliations, and forgiveness will increase the respect in the heart of other persons. So not forgiving creates the distances between the persons. And not forgiving also remains as a burden in our mind. So keep the mind clean, unburdened, our heart compassionate, and help others to grow. Because only then we can lift the humanity and that will be the purpose of our life without forgiving others without being compassionate and being without helping others the purpose of our life will be incomplete mm. and therefore we should follow the spiritual path that every person is a baby of our God and we as brothers sisters should help each other, should not criticize each other and just forgive if there's anything at any time which we don't like. So thank you sister and over to you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Dr. Bagat. Okay, Ginny, we have another maybe 15 minutes, sorry. Anybody is free to share now, take the platform. Uh, right, I will take it. Yes. Thank you. Ah, um, Dr. Benny, <laughs> love you. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. Right, right.
happy Valentine. Valentine happy. is every day, right? Happy hey. Valentine. <laughs> happy on passive. Yes. Aha. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I want to welcome each and everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all my brand ambassadors or affiliates or customers, whoever you guys are. Um, I want to take this moment um, to thank our Heavenly Father for bringing all of us this morning, this afternoon, this evening. Um, I, I thank him because I woke up this morning and uh, despite the fact that I wasn't feeling well, but um, he gave me strength. And uh, I'm stepping out to the doctor now, but I thank him for what he has done. He woke me up. At least I'm not dead, right? <laughs> I thank him for sending um, someone to all of us. Because if it wasn't for that individual, you and I would not be here today, this evening, this afternoon. He is our visionary. And he made a statement that either I do or I die. He is here to correct corruption, eradicate poverty, and to uplift humanity. And his name is Mr. Ash Moferia. What I want all of us to do every day, if you guys have time and you have that faith, you believe in God, just pray. Pray for our CEO. Mm. You are praying for him because um, he is undergoing a lot of pressures, uh, facing challenges. But guess what? He doesn't mind. He still come and smile, right? He comes and smile with all of us. Uh, the reason is because he accepted the callings. He accepted the callings. And uh, he made a statement once that uh, he wants all of us to work together as a family. That means we need to love one another. It doesn't matter where you come from. If he did not love you and I, you and I will not be here. If he did not love you and I, we will not be here today. So I want to say extraordinary presentation to Mr. Jeffrey Mullock. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank, I would say, magnificent uh, contributions mm -hmm. from Dr. Bill Williams, uh, Ms. Corinne, Mike's uh, brother, ja brother Raj, Dr. Mm. Das, those who contributed before. I will say, I mean, I'm so happy that you guys are here. I want to thank you all for coming. Mm. Um, mm. When it comes to love, right? Love, love conquers everything, right? Um, we do have unconditional love. You have empathy and you have compassion. So when it comes to unconditional um, acceptance, love involves what? Accepting someone for who they are. You know, it's, that one is difficult for me, but I, I will try, right? You have to allow, uh, <clears throat> accept people for who they are, flaws and all without expecting them to conform to specific standard. Then when it comes to empathy, understanding and sharing the feelings of another person in crucial in, in fostering love, it allows individuals, right, to connect on a deeper emotional level. Then the next one we talk about compassion. Love often involves what? A genuine concern for the well, well-being of others. Compassion motivates and it acts kindness to support. <clears throat> so I just want to thank each and everyone. I'm I'm trying my best to to really forgive. It is it is difficult sometimes when somebody hurts you. Mm. Sometimes I don't want to see their face. <laughs> no, no, some you know, it, it's good to tell the truth. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't want to sit and be pretending, right? Mm. I would rather forgive you and I don't see you because I don't trust you. Mm. I still ask God, please, Father. Okay. I have forgiven that individual, but I just want to stay in my way. Because mm. no matter what, the person is still angry with me for something that he or she has done right but i have forgiven those who trespass against me god wants us yes for us to love one another i am trying my best but when you when you love somebody right 
I, I don't think you should really put too much um, love because you don't know what is in the heart of that individual. You don't know the plan that that person has. Please, I'm just, just give me one minute. When a man married a woman, you don't know what that woman wants. Maybe she's there just for money. Likewise, men in this country, most of the men married women because the women, they are rich. So if, if you are that type, you're coming to me, don't waste your, don't waste your time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I, like I want all of us to continue to pray for our CEO, his entire family mm -hmm. and the dream team. Mm. Yes. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I love you all. And thank you guys. Thank you, Miss Corinne, for coming here. Dr. B. Williams, where is my brother Jeffrey? Come on now, where are you? <laughs> yes, <Anyway>. where is he? <laughs> thank you, Sister Faith, Sister Joanne. I love you all. Yes, thank Virginia. you. Thank you. Yeah. And everybody knows Dr. Benny is part of our host team. That's why he's, she's saying all the thank you on our behalf. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Uh, yes platform is still open for another eight minutes for anyone who wants to share yes yogi okay. dr benny you are healed in jesus name amen amen thank you so much well, we have two hands raised yogi shawa would you like to unmute i am a devil sister yes 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 thank you thank you thank you ma'am uh, wow. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my dear friends. I am the Mr. Vishnath Sao from India. Thank you so much for inviting me, sister, giving the opportunity to meet and share at the one of the best English international webinar. And the wow, that the outstanding, mind-blowing information and the presentations by brilliant international leader, Honorable Jeffrey Moller, sir, yes. Dr. Bill Williams, sir. On pressure is the highly in the uplifting the global humanity. I appreciate you, you nailed it, Mr. Jopri Mare, sir, and Dr. Bill Williams, sir. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yogis, Yogiswari, would you like to unmute? Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. Wow. wow. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Great, great, great statement. Um, hello. Uh, uh, yes. Hello, Queen and Queens. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my dear friends. Myself, Yugeshwari Markam from India and thank you so much inviting me a uh, sister and uh, giving opportunity to me share a great platform you are doing mind blowing mind blowing incredible energetic anchoring of, and it was outstanding presentation by esteemed Mr. Jeffrey, Honorable Mr. Jeffrey Markle, sir. Wow, super, super, sir. And, uh, and thank you. On Passive is the global phenomenon. Uh, phenomenon, our lifestyle are going to change forever. I feel so proud of our uh, CEO, Maestro, uh, Mr. Ash Mufare. And uh, uh, let's uh, pray for Mr. Ash Mufare and his family, the technical team in India, LC leaders, uh, attorney, and all the founders of good health, uh, happiness, uh, joy, and peace. And, uh, and thank you, uh, Mr. S, for your uh, dedication, uh, commitment, and hard uh, hard work. 
to lift humanity uh, lift up humanity we are proud to be part of this journey and united on passive on passive uh, commitment to um, actualizing advanced artificial intelligent technology of, uh, offering and it uh, development service is unwearing uh, we strive the revolutionization business operations by uh, providing the latest technological tools and strategies and it on passive we aim to help clean aid achieve their business goals by providing innovate um, innovation solution and thank you so much inviting me thank you thank you so much. and listening to me thank you to all over to sweet sister and thank you especially um, especially uh, uh, support uh, thank you thank you thank you a sweet sister jini sister thank you <laughs> thank you thank you and uh, we have two minutes is jeffrey back is he in i don't see him because we would oh yeah i'm here ah you're here okay uh we would like Bow. you to summarize tonight give Bow. a summary statement and then uh and then i'll get genie to close for us to thank everyone jeffrey would you like do you have something sure <clears throat> sure, sure. We, yeah we can, we can, yeah we can close this all up um the bottom line is you know when we every one of us judge right it's part of the human experience and even if we say we don't judge a particular thing in saying that we simply judge that behavior as acceptable and we move on and that's a good thing subconsciously we see things some things in others and actually within ourselves and a lot of times this is just an unresolved feeling or it's a lack of self or problems that were ignored or something right it's innately simple if we think about it like this right if what we're looking at is not a part of us then why should it even upset us and what we've talked about here today is about a way to assist in hurling uh in healing hurts in ourselves and in others and as good as that can be it's only a way to manage our own propensity for judging uh through choice and forgiving doesn't necessarily mean that we have to personally condone whatever behavior it is that we're forgiving. Mm -hmm. We simply forgive that behavior and we move on. We don't have to condone it. And But by not assigning a meaning, right, by keeping events neutral, by looking at it honestly, objectively, innocently even, um, we see all choices as acceptable, as legitimate. And if we think about it, you know, we may act next week in a way that we wouldn't dream of acting this week, depending on what we learn. So... Each experience we have is an opportunity to choose our direction, and thus we choose our next experience. Thank you. Thank you, Jeannie. Oh, yes. Thank you. Corinne. Corinne. Thank you. Corinne Thank you. I just wrote in the chat I have one sentence to, um, you know. Mabel, I have a question. You, you, all, you all know him. Yes, yes. Uh, Kumaran, is, sorry, I forgot you. Yeah, this is the, the great soul, uh, brother Jeffrey. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, Kumaran, Kumaran, just Nani. a minute. Corinne is speaking. Okay, sorry, sorry. Just one sentence. This is a great soul, Gandhi. Mm. The quote which I personally love, and I do my best to embody this quote. He says, Be the change you want to see in the world yourself. That's it. Thank you. Be the change you want to see in the world yourself. Oh, really? So, Jini, we yeah. let Kumaran. You you take over, Jini. Uh, Kumaran. Uh, wants to yeah. Speak. Okay, uh, Kumaran, just hang on. I, I see one hand, and let this person speak, and then you. Um, I see Shaya Yogi. Shaya Yogi, would you like to unmute? Shaya Yogi. 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 Sh
I, I see your hand. Shaya Yogi, are you there? Okay, the hand is gone. <laughs> okay, Kumaran, over to you. Hello, Sorry hello about again. that. Hello. Shaya Yogi, is that Shaya Yogi? Hello, ah, namaste, okay. good evening. Good evening, yes. On Pesu Namaste. My name is my name is Sahir, my name is Sahir Yogi, India Rajasthan. I am on Pesu, so excited, so happy. Thank you, Jeannie ma'am. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Shaya. Thank you for speaking so happy, up. So happy. Yes, we are all so happy. Thank you so much are, for this. Yeah. We are so in it to win it. Yes, so in it to win it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Shaya. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, Kumaran, are you with us, Kumaran? Kumaran. Uh oh, we lost him. Uh, Brother Jeffrey, just hang on because Kumaran has a question for you. Uh, we'll, we'll wait for him to come back. He could be refreshing himself now. Kumaran. Okay, he's back. Okay, Brother Kumaran, over to you. Uh, we cannot hear you, Kumaran. Cannot hear you. Maybe he's able to, to write the question into the chat. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, people, I'm back. Oh, yes, yes. Ah, okay, he's back. Uh, Brother Jeffrey Mola, uh, when I was preparing your avatar, I noticed, okay, I noticed that your background, remember your background? The, v, the, it, it, let me, let me share the screen, uh, your background. The Apple it, background? It, uh, you have uh, so many information there. You put it there. I I noticed that. Let me share. Can you just nice? Okay. Yeah, brother, brother Jeffrey. This picture is so much information there. Am I right? Can you just explain about this with the tree, the apple tree, the unicorn? It's like a paradise. Uh, Jeffrey? Yeah, yeah, Kumaran, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, I'm going to use this this background here. I'll, I'll use it in the video that I post, but it is a a, a there is so much meaning in this. Uh, I'm I'm pleased. I'm extremely pleased that you noticed a lot of the stuff that's in this picture. Um, this picture was created using generative uh, AI. Uh, which means it, it's just it's artificial intelligence that you can uh, describe something to and it will paint you a picture and it took me quite a few times to get this picture right but it's a gorgeous picture so thank you for noticing mm. Mm. thank you uh brother kumaran uh brother is Jeffrey, that the do you want to say anything about this what are the information there? Uh, 
There's a big, big <laughs> apple. <there. laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I can. Uh, obviously, if you're looking at the apples, uh, specifically <laughs> when you're looking at the apples, there's lots of them. There's different colors. There's different sizes. And the apples go 360 degrees around the tree. Now, if you're looking solely at the apples, the apples are indicating to us, which is what's going to be our, our abundance. Um, or early on, we were calling apples what we would call money. So there's going to be lots of lots of money. There's going to be lots of money all the way around everything being done in on passive. There's going to be different amounts of money, and there's going to be different types of money. That's You're talking about the sizes and the colors and the shapes of the apples. Um, these are... Speaking specifically about the apples, we're indicating how many countries, how many cultures, how many denominations there are, how many peoples there are, how big we are. So in that one apple alone, there's a there's a lot of hidden meaning. So yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Brother Jeffrey. Uh, Brother Kumaran, are you happy, satisfied with the answer? <laughs> or you have further question? <laughs> Did we lose him again? You know, he's probably wanting to know about a bunch of stuff. I mean, if you look at the tree and the trunk of the tree and then the massivity of the tree, it also speaks to our roots and, and how we grew up and what we grew up in. If you look around and you look at the almost uh, the, the whole landscape is almost a, a paradise when it's healthy and it's green and it's lush and there's life and vibrancy. I mean, all of these things, when you look at the white unicorn, the white unicorn is, uh, the, the white is the purity. The unicorn obviously has to do with uh, power. It has to do with energy. It has to do with size and magnificence. I mean, there's just a lot in this picture that if people were to look at, they'd go, wow, there's a lot in here. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Brother Jeffrey. Yeah, uh, Kumaran just message. He, he's kicked out again. So yeah, I, th I think we will uh, leave it there and we will share with him what you have shared. Thank you, Brother Jeffrey. Thank you so much. So, uh, so much for tonight. And uh, I love the way you put judgment, forgiveness, and uplifting humanity, how you gel everything together and spoke to us tonight. So it is really, really a very touching message and it is a profound message to all of us. Thank you so much. And also thank you, Dr. Bill and uh, Ms. Corinne and the rest of the speakers who came in uh, to touch on the topic as well. So thank you very, very much for tonight. And we would like to say, um, a happy Valentine, although it's belated one day, to everyone. So thank you so much for coming around and we'll see you again next Tuesday. Thank you so much. Mabel, anything else to add? Mabel, are you muted? You're muted. Yes, I'm okay now. Yeah. It's next ah, wonderful, wonderful, oh. wonderful. Peace, oh, blessings. Dr. Derek. Dr. Derek. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Dr. Derek. Dr. Derek. Did you manage to catch anything? Mm -hmm. Would you like to expound on it a little bit before we close? Uh-oh. Okay. Good night. Good night. I think we lost night, him again. Everyone. See Good, you night. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. We are showing it to minute. Yes. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you.